In this module, we are going to talk about the taxonomy of the viruses. This is the first part, and we will see that why the viruses are classified into different classes and into different genera and the species. First of all, we will see that what is the definition of taxonomy. In other words, we can say that classification, naming of something, giving some different names to different viruses is called taxonomy. It's also called the scheme of classification and the nomenclature of different organisms. Viral taxonomy is the classification of viruses on different bases. We will study in the later that on what kind of what base we will nomenclature or we will give the name to different viruses on which basis, which may be included the, on the basis of the host, which may be classes on different uh, on the basis of the disease, something like that. There are two different kinds of schemes of classification for the viruses. International Committee on the Taxonomy of Viruses, which was built in 1966. It is also called that ICTV, which is abbreviated for the International Committee on the Taxonomy of Viruses. They give us the system for the nomenclature of the viruses, that different viruses should be given these names on which base. We will study in the next slide. And the other one is the Baltimore system of the classification. It was Baltimore classification system was uh, built in the 1971. And it has different um, bases for that. The viruses are given on different names. First of all, we will see that what kind of, uh, what are the criteria for, for which the different viruses are given on different names. It may be based on the phenotype, for example, morphology the structure of the virus that what kind of structure it has maybe on the basis of the capsid or maybe on the basis of the not the capsid or the morphology then different you can see in the slide that it is apparent that different structures are given on that different viruses and similarly the presence of the envelope there are uh, envelope which is uh, some viruses have the envelope and some viruses don't have the envelope so we given different names for on the basis of the envelope or the type of nucleic acid as we have already studied that there are two kinds of nucleic acid in the viruses, the DNA or RNA. Then the nucleic acid may be also the DNA may be the single stranded and the RNA may be the double stranded, which are different ways of the viruses. And so we will also classify it on this base. Then mode of the replication. Similarly, it is clear that if the viruses are DNA viruses, then it is double stranded DNA or single stranded RNA or double stranded RNA, so it will be different uh, way of the replication, which will be different. So on the basis of the replication, we also have the taxonomy and different viruses are given different names. Very importantly, host organism. On the basis of the host, just uh, maybe some viruses are very prominent and they are only attacking the human beings and some viruses are not attacking the human beings, they are attacking the animals or the uh, some viruses are only attacking the plants, so they are given the different names on the basis of their host organisms or host animals. Then the disease is caused. It is also important that what virus is going to cause which disease. So viruses are also nomenclature uh, is given the different names on the basis of the diseases which are caused by different viruses. So we have already uh, studied that there are two kinds of classification systems. One is ICTV and other is Baltimore. The ICTV classification system was uh, started in 1961-1966 and the class where the members of the several properties are common. While in the ICTV system, the different members are present of the viruses are given in the one class which, are, which have different properties which are common. For example, it may be the host, host organism, the different viruses are only attacking the similar kind of the host. Then the ecological nick. Ecological nick is the process in which the ecologically the viruses are very very important. I think we have already studied about this that they can just have the advantage to attack in some present organisms. Then the pathogenesis. Different viruses have different kinds of pathogenesis. On the basis of pathogenesis, they are given classified in the ICTV system. Then the mode of transmission, some viruses are directly transmitted in the nucleic acid, some viruses are transmitted in through different ways. So mode of transmission is also one of the way. Then the habitat. So different levels of classification which are given in ICTV systems, which are provided by the ICTV system are order, family, subfamily, genus, and then species. 
So uh, it is very clear from the name. You can see that whether it is the order or it is the family. If it is the order, then it will be finishing the name with the Y rails. So it is clear from the Y rail if the end, and the first is the suffix, suffix, and then the Y rail is comes. Then it means it is clear that it is the order of the virus. Similarly, if the name is going to finish with YRD, it means it, it is the family of the virus. Then there is subfamily. It will be finished with the virini, and the genus will be the virus.